Hi, I'm Matt Cones of Valley Magazine. This holiday season, we are particularly thankful for the impact public school teachers have left on our lives. Let's see what students have to say. So my favorite teacher had to be Mr. Kennedy. He was my AP U.S. History teacher, and every time we had to do one of our in-class essays, we would write it, it would be timed, we would go to lunch, and then we'd come back. I wrote the essay that I was supposed to, and then I wrote a separate essay that I personally thought was more accurate. So um, after lunch that day, we came back. He had read them all, and he was like, in my hands here, I have the essay that I thought was the best, and I would love for the student to come up and read it. I'm expecting to see the essay that he wanted, but instead it's the essay that I had written based on my own feelings. And that made me feel really great about myself, you know, it gave me a kind of validation that my personal style of writing and my, like, my voice, I guess, was the one that really connected to him, even though it wasn't what he had asked for. And it really just gave me, you know, the purpose to go through with my English career. My senior year of high school, I had a journalism teacher named Caitlin Kincaid. And for fun, one day, I just started writing a paper about the boys' soccer game against Joppa Town. And the paper ended up falling out of my folder. And then the next day, Caitlin comes up to me and says that she's going to put it in the newspaper and how great it was. So it got me thinking that hey, maybe I'm really good at this writing, so I'm going to start thinking about writing for sports. My favorite teacher was Miss Lang. I had her for Spanish 3, 4, and 5 in high school. And she was really special because she got to know all of us on a different level than a lot of teachers, and she knew I was interested in journalism. So she ended up giving me some connections to get started in that field. And I thought that was really awesome of her because that's not really her job, but she cared about all of us so much that she wanted to help us any way she could. My favorite teacher during school was Miss uh, Miss Kamar. When I was in school, I was diagnosed with cancer. In fact, they had to perform surgery on me, so I, so I spent most of my time in school. I mean, most of my time in the hospital, and I felt like I had no friends. But then um, one day I saw Miss Kamar come with most of my friends. So that like that, they brought me like a card saying everybody everybody signed a card. And people cared about me, so that. That spoke to me a lot. The teacher of sports technician exercise science, uh, John Sterns. He would talk to just anybody in the hall. I know he, he was a basketball coach, so he, he taught a lot of young men how to just in sports and how to be men, pretty much how to grow up and, and live life. I never would have gotten into sports medicine or exercise science the way that I have. I, I probably wouldn't be a personal trainer. I would, wouldn't have taken the extra steps to pursue that. Uh, goal. My favorite subject was band. I'm a natural band geek. Proud. <laughs> it was the band teacher, Mr. Burke. He was just really caring and he made the whole like environment family oriented. Like everybody was friends with everybody. We went on trips together. There was never any conflict or anything. If you needed like a safe place or an escape, you just went to the band room. My favorite teacher was my German teacher named Miss Snow, called her Frau Snow, because Frau is Miss in German. She was the best. She was very motherly to every single student that walked into her classroom. She would ask us, how's life at home? She can just sense the fact that maybe one of us was just off our game that day. My favorite teacher was Miss Corey in fifth grade. I remember um, I was a troublemaker, and I was running for SCA president. And they were ready to, um, I guess, revoke my privilege of running for SEA president because I was, I had such a reputation for being a troublemaker. And um, Donna Corey, my fifth grade teacher, she pulled me aside and she said, Neil, um, I'm going to go to bat for you because I believe you're a natural born leader. And she did. And, um, and they, they allowed me to run and I, I ended up winning. And um, that's something to this day that I remember her telling me, you're a natural born leader. She actually just wrote me a letter probably a couple months ago, I was just checking in to see how I was doing. So I'm um, really, really, really grateful for Donna Corey and everything she did for me. I'd like to thank everyone that participated today. Remember to thank a teacher this holiday season and pick up the fall winter 2015 issue of Our Magazine. This is Matt Combs signing off. Until next time.